Hello fellow Linux gamers, my name is GhostQuad57, and today I'm playing Metro Last Light by Deep Silver and 4A Games. Now before I begin, I would like to discuss the quality of the Linux port. Um, it's good in the sense that I have had no crashes or major frame rate drops or anything like that. I've, I've had no major problems, basically. Um, but there is one big issue with the video options. Now, I'm going to show you guys that right about now. First, I'm going to go into the other options just to show you how sort of jarring this was to me. Because you go to sound, you get your basic options, all you really need. Master volume, music volume, that's fine. Game options, you get a good bit of options. Change your crosshairs, uh, turn subtitles on and off, turn hints on. You can change the subtitle language and the spoken language. Um, and you can even adjust the gamma. I keep it up high because uh, this video doesn't come out too dark. So yeah, you get a good bit of options there. And controls, your keys are completely rebindable, um, which is really nice, you know. Really basic stuff, all good. But then you go under video options, and this is all you have: this quality slider. Now. This this for me was a bit jarring because I because I heard so many good things about this port, and uh, the developers of Metro Last Light said, basically said there needs to be more AAA titles on Linux and that we need better quality games, Th and this was sort of surprising to me that there's no options for more advanced video things like there's no uh, anti-aliasing options, there's no anastrophic filtering, no tessellation, nothing. It's just a quality slider. And I look at screenshots com where they, they compare the Linux version quality slider all the way up, and then they compare it to the Windows version, and the Windows version just looks a ton better. The Linux version looks good, but why isn't there options for anastrophic filtering and anti-aliasing? I, I don't know, and I don't think the developers have really said anything about it either. And uh, that kind of disappointed me, you know, because I, I, I just like the sort of bump the game up to its max settings, see, uh, you know, benchmark it, see how fast the game runs in comparison to the Windows version, but unfortunately you just can't do that. And there is a text file in the Steam Apps folder, you know, Metro Last Light, um, that says user config, and it says MSAA there, and you can switch it to on, you could screw around with it all you want, but it's just not going to change it. And, uh, in fact, there's not even a resolution settings in the options menu either so you have to actually manually edit what you want the game's resolution to be in the config file along with if you want the game to full screen or not which is just disappointing to me you know I just felt like they would put a little bit more work into it but maybe they are I mean they said that they were working with AMD to get the drivers up to speed to run the game better and fix a lot of problems people have been having so maybe once they get out that out of the way they'll add more video options which would be fine for me, you know. A little bit of a delay, but it'd be fine. But uh, as it stands right now, I'm sort of disappointed. <coughs> anyway, yeah, I'm about, I would say, 45 minutes into the game. See here, I got a double barrel shotgun, a silenced revolver, and a silenced SMG with a stock as well. Just wiped out a few bit of bad guys. I am on the surface, and... Um, because I'm on the surface, I have to wear a gas mask or else the radiation actually kills me. So that's a nice dynamic. And not only that, but the uh, you have to replace the filters on it too. Or else uh, your gas mask just becomes ineffective. So yeah, the game is a... Uh, primarily, it's a sort of scripted, story-driven FPS. And it does this well. It's not like Call of Duty, you know, where it's like a dumb action movie. They do do a pretty good job uh, overall telling the story. And, um... They're also like more, there's like, w there's like a stealth survival sort of aspect to it too. Um, survival in the sense that you have to collect resources, like I said, if I don't refill my air filters like right now, my character uh, sort of dies, so you have to make sure you stock up on filters, which is what I picked over there, and uh, you also gotta make sure you look around for ammo and health kits and all that. This and uh, th I would definitely say, in comparison to Metro 2033, this game is more 
uh, generous with its ammo. You definitely find a lot more ammo in this one. The first game, uh, you did not get much ammo. Also in the first game, guns were not as effective as they are in this one. Yeah, see these cobwebs everywhere slowing me down. You can bring out your lighter with the M, burn them all down. I like that bit of detail. <coughs> so yeah, if you've never played the first game, you probably don't really know the uh, storyline. Well, you play in this game. You play as RTM from the first game. And uh, spoiler alert: in the first in the first game, you get to this tower and you bomb this nest of creatures called the Dark Ones. And uh, so far, the storyline now is that you're trying to find the last Dark One that's surviving. Because apparently, one survived the nuclear explosion, and you're trying to find it and eliminate it. Right now, it's sort of a flashback happening to the uh, nuclear bombs going off. So yeah, that's why you have to wear a gas mask, because the whole surface is just filled with radiation from the uh, nuclear explosions. And they did a really good job with the uh, atmosphere, too. It looks real nice. Not as good as the Windows version, but, you know, graphics are good enough. Excuse me. Oh, put your mask on, buddy. Shake him. Oh, he's freaking out. There you go. See, as you get hit, your mask gets cracked, too, and you have to find a replacement. So mine's a little cracked, dinged up. Search this body. Bam! Air filter and a mask. Fantastic. See, this one isn't scratched up. Also, sometimes when you get walk in the swamps and stuff, your mask will get dirty. Let's see if I can produce it here. Oh, I can't. But usually, you press G and it wipes it off. Oh, wing demon! Die! So yeah, there's definitely a. Uh, Whoa. Whoa. Let's heal real quick. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, dynamics when it comes to enemies. Like you have your basic enemies that run at you, you know, and you shoot them and kill them. Then you have the uh, flying demons, they're called. And then uh, there's certain enemies, like earlier in the metro, I had to uh, run into an enemy where you can't regularly hurt them, so you have to flash them with your flashlight, and then they sort of roll over, and then you can shoot them. Yeah, the gun feel definitely feels more uh, refined in this metro. In the original, the guns were sort of, they just did not feel right, because you would shoot and just basically miss all the time. This one, the guns are much more effective. And uh, as such, it makes running and gunning a much more viable option. Because the previous game, if you didn't do stealth, then the whole game was just ridiculously hard. And here, not so much. That's blood all over. I see wipe it off there. So yeah. so yeah, the game is heavily scripted, but like I said, it does its, does its scripting well, you know. The storyline and stuff overall, it's pretty solid. And it's uh, based on the novels by uh, Dimitri something, I can't remember his last name. Oh wow, there's a bunch of them. Where am I supposed to be going? Okay, this thing. And I also have a flashlight with F. Oh shit, they're coming. Oh, 
hope he's sort of bugged out. Whoa. All right, got the door open. Oh, flamethrower. I hope I get to use one of those in the later later in the game. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, the game uh, definitely has a sort of heavy, poetic uh, writing to it. Buy some weapon upgrades while I'm here. Look at this guy. This guy looks, looks serious. Sounds like a good plan. Yes, we are. Great. Come in there. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here. Huh? I'll talk to my people and fly to me. So there's a lot of uh, hidden documents too you gotta look for that give a lot of backstory to the uh, game. Which is very nice. I always like it when games do that. weapon shop around here. We really want to show off the uh, weapon customization and such. So yeah, the game definitely has a lot of uh, design on atmosphere and stuff like that. So uh, this place seems so alive. Yeah, you see there's the Metro 2033 novels. There it is, Dmitri Gluhaske. Hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. There we go, market, yeah. I see here you can buy uh, ammo and secondary weapons, secondary grenades, and grenades, throwing knives. I don't really need any ammo, I'm pretty set. But uh, yeah, your currency in this game is military grade ammo, which is like really rare ammo you come by. And uh, you can use it to shoot enemies because it's uh, more powerful in regular rounds, but at the same time, you'll be basically throwing your money away. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, guns. Let's see. Uh see so you can customize and a reflex sight, R I sight, uh silencer extended barrel. Very nice options to choose from. Let's upgrade my shotgun because I love shotguns. Extended barrel. Alright. Yeah, I feel like that's good enough. I don't really need one of the guns there. Alright. 
right. Yeah, anyway, I feel like uh, I've explained the game good enough. Um, it's really not much really else to talk about. Like I said, it's a very sort of story-driven first-person shooter. Uh, the game looks good. You know, again, it's a disappointing that there's no anastrophic filter settings or anti-aliasing, but, you know, hopefully they add it in later. Um, uh, so far, I've definitely been enjoying the game. The story's pretty solid. Everything seems to hold up pretty well. Um, I would recommend the game as long as the fact that, again, there are no video options. If that does not bother you, if you feel like the game looks good enough, and uh, or if you have, like, a low... Uh, really low quality uh, rig and you can't really run high games anyway then it should be you then I definitely recommend the game it's uh it's a very solid game um anyway ghost squad 57 signing out I hope this video uh, helped you with your purchase of the game um, and I'll talk to you guys later